What's up, friends of the good boot? This is Manny, and welcome to the next War Robots test server session here with a brand new robot, Fafnir, again. Possibly the strongest robot in the game, question mark, because we have not only resistance, we have resistance bypass as well. We have the endless flight ability and an absorber shield for a few seconds after flight, and we have full firepower with four medium weapons. So this is going to be the next meta robot. Is it going to be the number one robot? Let's find out, okay? I've already made a video on the Fafnir on the test server. We'll also show you here the brand new weapon uh, that we have right here. Uh, what's the name of it again? Was it Skald? I think it was Skald, right? Um, it's uh, basically like Scourge, but without losing damage over range. Uh, and without a lock-on too. So it's an instant without lock-on Scourge that does full damage even at max range. Oh yeah, and it freezes. That's right. I totally... F How could I forget? I'm an idiot. Um, so yeah, definitely, War Robots, this weapon is not okay. This is not okay. Nope. That is not the range. That's not the damage you're supposed to be doing at that kind of range together with freezing effect and uh, and then having a constantly oh yeah that's the next thing it has the continuous reload fa function and feature yeah wonderful oh yeah by the way now i can see him by flying with the fafnir that will now drop my resistance okay flying like that will drop my resistance down i'm no longer having the resistance I still bypass resistance, but I don't have it any longer. Uh, but yeah, the Fafnir is definitely going to be the next meta robot. Uh, it's gonna be a really, really powerful beast, as you can clearly see here. This guy, that is a Fafnir. Once his shield drops, though, he's gonna take full damage. No resistance is active now during his flight ability. And he's got two choices, either land or die. Uh, and that right there is an Aoguang or, or an Aoken. I don't know, one of those. So one of those things that dies really quickly. What is that? I don't even know what it is. But you know what? I don't care. I can just shoot it from right over here. Oh, wait. That's an enemy right there in front of me. What the heck? Come on. Die. Yes. Good. Godlike. Yes, I like that. I like hearing this. Uh, I wanna... I need to stay here for a little longer because I actually wanna be able to get up there onto the high position because that would be an amazing spot to be at. And I think I can make it happen. All I've got to do for it is trigger phase shift start to fly right there we go now we're in the air uh oh hold on hold on let's go down here again so now i have the perfect sniping spot and overdrive is even active oh it couldn't have gone any better than this ladies and gents well, let's laser him down Bap, don't dun, dun, dun. all you guys go down that guy with overdrive active oh yeah another thing i forgot i forgot we're not finished we're not done yet with describing the endless possibilities of the Fafnir. No, it actually has a supposedly uh, built-in weapon that it triggers against Titans. Now, I don't know. I've never seen the weapon in action, um, but apparently it's there. There's supposed to be a built-in weapon that does uh, extra damage to Titans. And you do 200% damage to Titans with this robot as well. So, yeah, I guess, I guess we have a lot of abilities here. Uh, so I wonder, Pixonic, did you did you give this thing enough? Maybe maybe we need some more. How about some uh, some some teleport? Yeah, why not let it teleport? Instantly on to beacon teleportation. Yes, you select a beacon, you instantly teleport to it. Look how much damage I'm doing to the Titan, dude. This is like I'm it's like I'm firing as a Titan myself. That's the amount of damage output I have. And uh, this position here is really awesome, guys. I mean, I could not have really I could not have gone onto a better spot than this especially not after my overdrive was activated dude that is insane doing 50% more damage right from here Zzz, I'm lasering the entire map down boom next guy yeah that's uh, I think I, this is the perfect display uh, the, from the Fafnir now um, if uh, that doesn't convince Pixonic that maybe this thing has gotten a little too powerful, then I don't know how, how I could possibly do this. And also, the weapon, obviously, right? The weapon Skeld, or whatever the thing is called. That thing, too powerful. That, of course, is a danger. A scorpion jumping on you is a danger. Right? That's something you shall not, you shall not uh, take lightly. And I get killed. Okay, nice job, nice job. He, 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 he did something. He, uh, he recognized the problem, he came up with a plan, and he executed the plan. And he did it all well. So, uh, nothing to complain about this dude, man. Awesome, but look at this, okay? Those are, those are the best guys in my team. And that was a short match. I don't know, how long was it? 
uh, four minutes. Uh, 1.8 million damage. On the test server, I have just had a match. This is going to be a separate video where I've done 4 million damage on the test server. I'm not joking. 4 million damage? I'm not sure if I've ever seen this on the test server because weapons are level 8. Robots don't have this much HP. There's no way to do 4 million damage on the test server. I somehow just did it with the Fafnir. So another video coming up sometime soon. Let's jump into another battle and see uh, how well we can do. I I'll, I'll be showing you Tyrants now and Pulsar, okay? Let's go with Pulsar and Tyrants. Going with uh, Tyrants first because I think I'll die first with Tyrants and then I can run the long range Pulsars a little longer. Again, resistance on the robot when you are on the ground, when you're not flying. Resistance bypass on all those four medium weapons and from what I gather full resistance bypass or almost full so uh, Fenrir or uh, You know uh, Mender or Phantom Scorpion uh, Falcon Titans doesn't matter you do Most of your damage all the time, okay, and then if you need to you can fly I so far I have only really used the flight ability to get somewhere where I would otherwise not be able to get so I've just used it as a means of transportation uh, but it's actually more than that because you, you have the ability for five seconds during the absorber to fire uh, without taking damage in return okay and that is the good thing about this now we're late we're destroying this guy right there with um, with the tyrants and same goes for him okay He's, pretty, he's gotten pretty mad at me now. Uh, I'm just deleting him real quick. Come on, bye-bye, dude. There you go. Hello there, friend. Yeah, I thought as much. I thought I was gonna I was gonna have to die here. But maybe I can drop him down to uh, last stand. I'm not sure if I can make it happen. Oh, wait, there's the built-in weapon. It fires. I see it. It's firing little rockets. It's firing little ice rockets. That's what it does. Aha. I had no idea that this is what it does. Good, good thing. Okay, nice. So he's coming over here now. And he's probably gonna make life a little more difficult to me. Uh, but I should be able to kill him. With the absorber shield. So this is how you can use it. Oh my god, my weapons with the absorber have to reload now. Oh no. This is the worst timing ever. I would have killed him there, man. I would have. I would have killed him. But of course, of course, I'm money gaming. I have to lose weapons at 30% and two of them even. Yes. And and the next thing is, of course, I freaking had a reload on the weapon when I really, really needed the weapon to fire. Yeah, this is where, it, where you see old versus new. It's one of those perfect opportunities that displays old versus new. Do you think the new scout weapon would have needed a reload? <laughs> no, it wouldn't. It would not. It's a new weapon. No, new weapons don't need to reload. Only old weapons do. And see, this is like a perfect uh, example. Um, but we're now rocking the uh, the Pulsar. We can lock people down. We can annoy the living heck out of them. And we can even do a lot of damage to them as well. So this guy's probably going to start to fly now any moment. Two, one. Are you? Are you not? Why aren't you flying? Now? Activating your absorber shield and such. I don't know. Okay. Um, see, the Pulsar is relatively new and therefore is still extremely powerful. It's a very powerful weapon, does tremendous damage, locks people down, it's being incredibly annoying to the enemy, right? I've just seen for the first time the built-in weapon fire. That is impre impressive. Okay, let's try that again. Okay, here we go. Built-in weapon, fire. Fire, built-in weapon. Fire, built-in weapon. Why is it not fire? Ah, here, now it fires. Ah, wait. Is it like always firing? Look, it, it fires all the time now. You see those little rocket thingies that are coming out? I think it only starts firing after your absorber shield is uh, has ended. Yo, I think that's what it is. I think it doesn't fire until the absorber is gone. And that explains a lot because that shows why I've never seen this before. Because so far, I have ne never really used the robot in the flight mode without the absorber. Once the absorber drops, I usually uh, land because I would take full damage from the entire anti enemy team, right? So uh, that explains a lot, actually. Let's test if this thing actually does fire at short range. Yeah, no, see, there's no, now it would still fire. It would still fire right now, it doesn't. So during the flight ability, you actually do not fire. Uh, yeah, that is, uh, that is interesting. Uh, do, sorry, during the absorber shield, you do not fire your building weapon. It only has 350 meters range. Um, 
yeah, so we've learned something new. That's good. It's always good to learn something new during a test service session, for example, about an upcoming robot that may disrupt game balancing a little bit, especially com uh, when it comes to robots that rely on resistance, which, again, is something I'm not really a big fan of. I think resistance is something very important. It should always do its job. I'm face shifting now because I just got my overdrive, and that is exactly what I wanted, right? I'm happy with this result. What's that guy doing then? there? It's a Loki, he's just hanging, hanging, hanging around. So, overdrive is active. You see, now we're doing the real damage. Can I hit him? Yeah, I can. Look. Hitting him pretty well. But you can't hit his legs. You can only hit the robot itself, but not the legs. Zoop, there he goes. See, with overdrive, that's pretty cool, man. This guy, once his flight ends, two, one, and... He's gonna have to land if he doesn't want to die. Whoa. I just felt like, aha! Wow, look how much damage the freaking drone does to me! Why am I still taking so much damage, by the way? I'm still- Dude, I'm, I'm taking un endless damage! I, uh, I was just taking damage for unlimited amount of time. There was no ending! As if I was taking some kind of ghost damage or something. Weird. There's a Loki that places low. Look, I'm taking damage! It's corrosion. Ah, it's corrosion damage that I'm taking. Ah, okay, that explains it. So someone is playing the Loki as a, as a robot that does its primary damage simply through stealth and the drone. <laughs> I expected him to fire now. Uh, I'm not sure if I can win this fight. I'm trying to. We're bypassing. Oh, now I have only one weapon. No, actually, how many do I have? Two. Two weapons I have left. Okay, that was the Loki. All right, so wow, my team is uh, doing a, a great job on the on the beacon. Let's let's run a hawk for a second, right? Uh, with this here, we have the same weapon categories, but light and heavy this time. When he comes out of his ability, there. Wow, was I taking damage? Holy smokes, man! I just died in like a, uh, almost died completely in a few seconds. Unreal. Oh, I just accidentally killed somebody. Wow, this looks pretty awesome, dude. Look at this. That looks pretty nice. Yeah. Wow, I just died for no reason. Okay. Oh, that was a Tsar. Okay. All right, that was actually a reason for the death. Let's see what we have here. Boom, 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 boom. I have quantum sensor, so I'm just gonna kill him anyways. Pretty sure we're gonna die here now, but, you know, let's just uh, do our best. I'm frozen. Oh, that's right, he's using this weapon there. All right, let's delete the regime here with the <laughs> with the Nodens and four times the... St uh, the big bad boomies. The shotguns. Trying to cap a beacon here. Healing up some of my teammates there. Okay. Uh, wait, is he not suppressed? Dude. Dude. Dude, he was not suppressed. He was not suppressed. Why was he not suppressed from my Noden suppression ability? That was not cool. By the way, uh, excellent playstyle, really. Uh, he knew I was ready for him. He knew I knew he was gonna spawn. He waited for me to pay attention to something else, just for a second. It was enough for just a second, it was enough. That was, and all he needed was just me paying attention to something else for just a second. And then he quietly spawned that Arthur behind me. By the time he didn't spawn, I thought, ah, it's Domination. I thought it was Domination, because, uh, you know, it's test server, you can't choose the game mode. And, uh, and I thought it was Domination because, um, he didn't spawn in. Uh, and then I captured the beacon, and I had the beacon captured, and somehow he managed to spawn his Arthur in between, which I did not expect. And then, 
easy kill for him. Absolutely perfectly done. Except for the suppression that should have prevented the kill. But yeah, unfortunately something went wrong there. Uh, but maybe, um, I don't know what happened. Anyways, uh, that is the um, the test server for this weekend, ladies and gents. Okay, uh, the new Fafnir robot, an absolute beast. Um, and in my opinion, Skadi. Oh, it's not Skald, it's Skadi. I'm sorry, Skadi is the weapon called. And um, this weapon is far too powerful, far too powerful. The range, the damage at that range, the not requiring lock-on, the not requiring reload, uh, the freezing ability, like, is it, uh, seriously, is there anything, the bypass of blue energy, is there anything this weapon does not have? Um, no, it's it's just, it's 50% too powerful, I'm not even joking, <laughs> it's just way too good. Uh, and uh, does the Fafnir, in my opinion, uh, resistant breaking stuff, uh, I don't, I, I hate it, I have always hated it, resistance should not be something that you could break, resistance is a defense system of your robot that should not be disabled, simply by a different by a robot that completely ignores it, it's nonsense, and um, previously at least you had to have an active module that activates shield breaker, right, or a quantum sensor, quantum radar. But now you just have it as a robot by default. No, no, that's not cool. I don't think that's a good way to do it. I said the same thing about the Hawk and I'm saying the same thing about the Fafnir. Um, but yeah, so that's my opinion at the end of the test server session. Thanks for watching, ladies and gents. Have a good one. Money signing off. Bye-bye.